Hello everyone and welcome to my lab. Now we're working on the third and final piece of the Skittle Sorter, the Skittle Diverter. And there's some very exciting developments on this side because uh, I want to use servos instead of the usual stepper motors. So let's get into it. Here we have the design for the concept. Down here there's going to be a motor. Uh, it's not really the most important part right now, so let's, let's take at the, a look at this assembly up here. This is where the magic happens. Now, it's really difficult to see in here what's going on because it's all enclosed, so what I'm gonna do is turn it to uh, translucent. Let's zoom in here. Let's get rid of these. This is the mechanism that's going to actually select where the Skittle is gonna go. So it's gonna rotate in this orientation here. And you can see there's a there's a hole that goes from the top and down to the side. The motor is going to be down here and it's going to actually just, that's what's going to be rotating the thing. And then here you can see there are five different chutes and that is what the motor is going to be selecting. Which one of these chutes is going to actually take the scale. Then uh, that just carries it over and away into the container for each of the uh, colors. So here you can see the selector is going to be supported on the bottom by the motor shaft here, but there's nothing up top to keep it vertical. So I am adding a bearing. There's going to be a bearing inside this cavity here. And that is going to both allow Skittles to pass through and also hold the chute selector in position. So this is what it's going to look like. Let's go ahead and get that printed. Here are all the parts, hot off the grill. I've already attached the uh, motor for the uh, diverter and the, its uh, little encoder here. It'll just give us pulses so we know where it is. The uh, shaft off the motor actually just has an interference fit here. So it jams on there really hard and that won't come loose. It's very difficult to get loose. I've already tried. So. This here, it's difficult to see the shoots now that it's 3D printed, but if you remember what the CAD looks like, these five holes go to these five holes out here. It's really simple, it just uh, knocks it off to the side, whichever side you want for each individual color. And this right here is the uh, bearing holder. It really doesn't do anything but maintain a, a vertical alignment with the uh, shoot selector. So this will actually go in here and rotate. I don't know if you can see that, but it's rotating in there. So the Skittles actually fall through that bearing into the selector, which is rotated to select which of these chutes it'll fall through. That's really all there is to it, so let's put it together. matter of controlling it. When you look at this you might see a uh, stepper motor, but it's not a stepper motor, it's uh, what I'm going to turn into a servo motor. I work with industrial machines and oftentimes I use these. This is an industrial servo motor. It has a lot of power, a lot of control, it's pretty much the uh, optimal kind of motor for control anyway. I, uh, once, once you work with those, it's really hard to go back uh, down to stepper motors. They're really awful once you've worked with servo motors. So I'm very interested in taking that technology that we use in industrial machinery and applying that to everything else that I do. And the only difference between 
a BLDC motor that hobbyists use, and an industrial servo motor is the control system. And the control system really shouldn't be that expensive. It's mostly software. The electronics are actually very cheap. It's called the O-Drive, and it's in its fledgling state right now. It's uh, Alpha version 3.2. Needs a lot of work on the software side, uh, but it looks very promising and it can already do enough for uh, what we need to do here in the Skittle Sorter. I look forward to helping develop this a little bit further and using it in future projects. If you're a software engineer uh, that's used to working with microcontrollers, you might want to look it up. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, could definitely use some help developing the software here. If you like to make machines, but maybe aren't uh, quite so strong on the software side, you may want to wait to use these till they're a little bit further developed. But they are probably going to be very useful once, once it's uh, further along. And with that said, let's put it all together. Alright, here it is all wired up and ready to go. Uh, bonus content, here is the my old quadcopter motor that is going to be used for the feed bowl. Uh, notice how quiet this is. This is field-oriented control, also known as servo control, over the BLDC motor. So that is fantastic. That's what we're looking for. Uh, so we have full control over this guy and over the diverter here. So you probably won't be able to see this one moving, uh, but I'll just call out what's going on. So we'll go ahead and drop a skittle through uh, position one here. You notice it came out over here. We'll grab another one. Let's go to position two. Now it's going out here. And position three. And now it came out there. So we can easily just select whichever hole we want. Let's take a closer look at uh, the speed with which it is moving from position A to position B. All right, that works well. We are done with that concept. That works, we're good. Now we can finally get the entire thing designed, printed, assembled, and I uh, can't wait for that. That's gonna be cool. So, it's time to update the whiteboard. Done. So join us next time as we combine the feed bowl the sensor, and the diverter into one Skittle sorting machine. Wow.